Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to either enable or disable trim support for your solid state drives on Windows 10. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward process here, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing you're going to have to address is what kind of file system you're using. So if you're using uh, REFS file system, it's going to be a different command than if you were using an NTFS. So the first command we're going to show, so open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt, right click on it, left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and left click on yes. And once you have the command prompt open, you want to go ahead and type in or just copy and paste from my description the first command here. It should start with F-S-U-T-I-L. So again, just go ahead and copy that from my description. Go to the top bar of the command prompt, right click, edit, and then paste it in. We can see the trim has been disabled for both of these. So if you want to do it for an NTFS system, we're going to go ahead and copy the first command underneath that section in my description should start with F-S-U-T-I-L behavior. So again, right click on the top bar of the command prompt up to the top, left click on edit, and then paste it in. Once you're done with that, it should be enabled. If you want to disable it, go ahead and select the other command underneath that. So right click, edit, paste. Pretty straightforward process here, so you either enable or disable it. And then the commands underneath that, so will be an option to enable it with an REFS file system. So top bar, edit, paste. It's basically showing you guys the walkthrough of running the commands here. You're not going to run all these commands, you're only going to run one of them because we're showing four different options. So you either want to enable it or disable it with NTFS, which is two different commands, and enabling or disabling with REFS file system, which is two separate commands as well. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.